Hello all. So thank you for showing all the love and all the sharing on the first video on this series where we are talking about emails in the central. So just a quick recap. I'll make sure that there's a link to the previous video at this place somewhere when this video is starting. But do watch that video if you haven't watched that. We'll continue from there. Today we'll be talking about what are email scenarios in the central and what are different ways to attach default attachments in the central because Microsoft is making super easier for customers and also adding all the possible situations that customer will need while working with the central and using emails. So just a quick recap. What we did in the last video is we went ahead either using assisted setup or by searching for a page email accounts. We did set up some accounts. And just to make this video a little bit simpler, I've also added some new accounts, which is one for the sales department and one for the service department. As we have talked in the previous video, you can have one or multiple email accounts added in Business Central. Now, what happens once you have these different accounts set up? We surely would like to use these accounts as a sender email account when different emails go from the central how you do that and that's where the scenarios come into the picture as you can see here there's a fact box which is showing up scenarios so we'll keep talking about it so now when i have a sales department email account or a purchase department email account i surely would like to send all the emails that are coming from the purchase side of business central using this email account so how i do that I go into the navigate option in my email account page and I choose email scenarios. The selected record that is in the email account page will you can assign scenarios to that. So here I can say that on the purchase department email, which is purchases purchase at the rate demo.com, I would like to assign scenarios of and here is a list of scenarios that are built in in Business Central. Start from customer statement email printer finance charges interaction template and so on and so forth what i'll do is i'll select and you can select multiple that anytime a user of the central tries to send an email from a purchase order page using default microsoft email actions or on the purchase code page anything else that's it from microsoft at this point the email should be sent from the purchase department email, which is purchases at the demo.com. So this account will be used as a center account. But when somebody sends an email from the sales area of the central, then I would like to make sure that all email use the sales at demo.com. So I'll say, okay, whenever somebody sends an email from credit memo, invoice, quote, order, all these emails should go with a sender ID of sales at the rate demo.com. In the same way, I'll assign some scenarios on my service department. I'll come here and say anytime there's a need of an email sending from these areas of the central, the email scenario or, or the email sender email ID will be service at demo.com. Now, just a tip here if you have other areas in business central, which are not covered in these scenarios you can request your partner to extend that area in business central where the new options get added it's all possible so it's completely extensible there's no limit what as in there's no limitation from microsoft what you need from your business side and how your partners can support you by doing that as a mod or a custom on your business environment so if you have other needs which are not listed in these scenarios, make sure that you work with your partner to add those new scenarios into it. Like I can see that I have only options for purchase order and code. Can I add a purchase invoice options? You can. Can I do other options that are available in business center which are not listed here? Yes, you can work with your partner to make sure that those scenarios are available in this page for selection. Now let's test it. If I try to send an sales order email 
and what happens. Okay, before we move out of it, remember, there will always, one scenario will always be attached to only one email ID. I cannot say that, oh, sales order can also go from sales, but also from the purchase, which is not possible. So if I try to do a sales order on the purchase department, you'll notice that it will be removed from here and move into the purchase department. So let's do and try to do that also. So if I do sales order, click OK, it actually moved from here and came into the purchase department. So one scenario will always be associated with one email sender ID. So let me reassign this. And move it to sales and you can do it from here and that it moves there so remember one sender id for one scenario you cannot have multiple scenario attached to different email senders hope that's clear let's test it now so i have a sales scenario attached to this what i'll do now is i'll go into my sales orders or sales invoices or sales code let's do the sales order and in my sales order and I and I have mouse problems today it's a little bit slow from my side but that's okay I guess if I try to send an email and there should be an action and I'm bad with the shortcuts and I don't remember stuff that's not the problem but here if I'm the sales order and I click on email confirmation from Microsoft You'll see that it'll start working on the email and <coughs> sorry <coughs> pay focus on the from id so the from id here is selected as sales department email.com so by default system will respect the scenario assignment that you have done and will make sure the same email id is used as the sender email ids it does other stuff also it does create a body we'll come to it and discuss it someday if you guys need it and then it does attach an attachment and we'll come to it in a while. Let's discard this email. Now let's try from the purchases. We have seen from the sales what's happening. Let's do a check on the purchase side. Uh, purchase order was there. I hope so. Yes. So if I pick a purchase order and if I try to send an email, you get a pop up and we'll tell you how you can remove it maybe in a future video. I'll say email is yes and okay and you'll see now it says the center is purchase department so the system is coded in a way that will respect the settings that you have done on your email account with the email scenarios now as you have seen that when we are trying to run this and it does create a body we'll come to it someday and there also attaches an, attaches an attachment into it for the document that you're sending and if needed, let me know in comment section. We'll discuss about details of all these components that are available. But what if, if you as a company would like to make sure that, oh, I have, let's for, take an example. I have some terms and condition that I always want to send whenever an email goes from a purchase department or whenever an email goes from the sales department or a scenario based situations or attachments. In that case, Microsoft considers this and understand that it's a need for the business. In the navigate option, there is an email scenario attachments, which assigns attachment to different email scenarios, not to the sender ID, but to the scenarios. So you have scenario at the top and then you define who would be the sender for that scenario. And you are also able to identify which are the attachment which will be applicable to that scenario. So you click on that button. It's pretty simple. You start creating a new and you add file to a scenario. Once you do that, it shows you the list of scenarios that are available from Microsoft or from your ISV or from your partner. These scenarios, let's take an example of purchase order. I would like to add an attachment the email scenario so i can go ahead and say this is the term statement a demo term statement which i've added here and then there's a boolean attach by default which means that if you set this 
then automatically when the email are generated for the purchase orders this will get attached into email by default or you can leave it blank so let's attach one more thing here uh, on the same purchase orders and let's add one more file here uh, let's say new terms out of these what I'll do is I'll make sure that this get assigned by default and we'll see what happens if we don't assign it by default. Let's do a new one and add one into the my sales order scenario. Okay. I'll choose the attachment and that's get added and I'll check it by default. So at this moment I have one attachment which is attached by default set on the scenario of sales order. And then I have two attachment by default set on the purchase order. Out of them, one will should get attached automatically, and one is not going to attach automatically. And we'll see how we can use it. That can be a case that your business requirement have. Let's go back and try to send an email from the sales department, which is sales orders. Let's pick the sales order, and then from here try to do email confirmation you will notice when you come down here that there is already an attachment attached called sales term doc because you have attached that and marked that boolean to automatically attach that document into the email so system again respect whatever you have done let's discard this now let's try it from the purchase where we have two uh, attachment attached to the purchase order scenario but one of them should come by default, other one should have some ways, I'm hoping, to kind of send from there. Okay. Since I do that, it does create the email, it does create the message out of it. Let's come down and there's already a purchase term attached. Now, what about the other file? If you look at it, there's a action to add file from default selection what that default selection means the files that you have attached into the scenarios but you have not marked to attach it automatically which means that if you have case based attachments that you want to make on your different scenarios you can attach that and then specifically on different cases you can then attach those into your email so let's click OK and that will get attached into the email. So I guess that was the intention for the today's video. Let's summarize what we understand. Uh, you can define multiple email account which we learned in the previous video. Each email account can only be attached. A, a email account can be attached to multiple scenarios. But one scenario can only be attached to one sender email address. You can also attach multiple default attachment to a scenario and then in that area you can define which of these will be automatically added into the email and which of these will not be while you're creating the emails and when the emails are created you can also choose the attachments to that scenarios into the email do let me know your questions if there are any into about either about this video or any other email situations that you have i'll make sure we talk about it in the next video we'll talk about i'm not sure what we'll talk about but i'm pretty sure we'll talk about something around emails in this series so keep an eye on that playlist about the emails and do like the video if you learn something new do share this video with your colleagues with your friends and on social media and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that otherwise you'll miss some good content that's coming up in a few days have a great day see you next time with the next video this is saurav dhani signing out and i'll see you in the next day with the next video thank you